Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, Tall Testicle here, and um, today we're going to be talking about something that uh, I talk about all the time just because I love doing it. I love customizing the car. I love adding features, adding uh, accessories that are going to make it just that much more enjoyable, and we're going to dive right into that today. You probably noticed it's a little bit darker in the car today than it has been. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day outside. I've got my roof shade i guess in there this also came from ev base uh there's a link down in the description below and and the other things i'm going to talk about today are also from ev base and it's uh it's just some super 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 cool stuff um it kind of goes along with this and then even a uh, a cyber truck uh little tidbit there so sit back relax you guys are watching the tall tesla guy And I'm gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna make it so it's not as dark in here uh, with this, but I wanna show you a couple of things here. So this is my shade. This is a front shade that you can see here. And this is actually, um, it's a window shade. And I can feel how hot this is, how much heat this is blocking out. And it's, it's amazing the amount of um, reflection that this gets, I guess. But um, either way, this particular thing folds up to the size of an umbrella, and it even fits in the tray that I have underneath my seat, uh, which, is, which is great. So it's accessible, it's out of the way, and then it, it's just there. But it's so easy to pop in, and I'll show you guys that in a second. I wanted to also show you this right here. Uh, not the Cybertruck there. That's just a cool little thing that's just fun to have and play with. Um, but outside of the Cybertruck is this thing, this thing right here. Now this thing attaches behind the screen with just sort of pressure sensitive or you know pressurized rubber grommet things. And as it's there, it's it's really sturdy. You can see this. It doesn't gonna, it's not going to go anywhere and it's a, a great place to store things because you have all that space there. There's all this space here between the screen and the bottom of the, I don't know, the center console that is, is not utilized. I'm going to show you guys how I put that in a second as well, but I also wanted to show you this. This is an iPhone 14 Pro Max, iPhone 14 Pro Max, and it's the biggest one that you can buy uh, for no reason at all. I needed the biggest one. And it still fits in there. It still fits in the charging thing. And that's what I was concerned about, not being able to put this on my wireless charger while having the screen thing in there. And I can assure you it does. And you can see here, it still fits in there perfectly. It's easily accessible. It still charges. It does everything it needs to do. And I've got this. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to take out the screen in the front. I'm going to show you this windshield. It's so, so, so easy to get in here that it, it's just silly. It's silly how, uh, how easy it is. I'll move my cyber truck out of the way and you can see it you can see it here it's got these rubber things on the back everything that touches the car the screen is either foam padded it's rubberized all the way around to the bottom and everything even that little piece there for some reason um, it's rubberized so it's not going to scratch anything anything like that and to put it in like I said, couldn't be hard or couldn't be easier. You're you're putting it in there, and this is with my phone in place there. It's going on the bottom. These guys sort of fold up. This goes behind there. It sits there. In fact, it stays like that anyway. And then it's got these thumb-shaped things in the back that just put pressure behind the screen. And that's it. Little comfort things, accessorizing the car that just are super easy to do. And this one is 100% super easy to do. So outside of this, I'm going to show you guys the, the front window screen because it is a blazing hot day today. It's humid as I'll get out, but it's hot anyway. I've been keeping this in here. You kind of see it on the screen. People were asking me about this before. Um, I got this from EV Base and um, these screen or these uh, roof roof shields, uh, it, it's super easy, folds right up, which is awesome and amazing. And it helps to block some of the heat out. You guys know that I love the panoramic glass roof. I always have. It doesn't bother me even at 6.5. My head doesn't get hot or anything like that. But what I can say is it makes it easier for the car to cool down. Um, so I, I keep it in in the summertime when it's really hot, especially for my baby in the back there. But um, I'm gonna show you this, uh, this front thing real quick. I put it behind the uh, windows anyway, but I, just because I wanna show you, it's got this thing here. It, it works just like an umbrella. 
and it's so in tune. You know, I hated having those other front screen things because it was such a clunky, awkward thing to have in your car. And you can see it here. This is it. And it folds up into a bag that they give you. It's velvety bag. Um, but it folds up into this bag and it goes in just like an umbrella. And I fit it right in that tray underneath the seat, like I was telling you. But it's always ready to go and it's always there. And it just, uh, it's about the size of an umbrella. You can kind of see here. So you can even carry it around with you. It's designed for the Tesla Model 3. It's designed for the Tesla Model 3, Model Y, but this umbrella type size thing, it just goes in and out so easy. And I'll show you the install again, just so you can see it. The gray part goes on the window. You put it in here, and then you just pull this thing up like an umbrella. It clicks in there. This goes around the windshield. And I put these down to hold it in place even better. But I mean, this is it. Five minute install, and then you've got the, the front window protection there too. So between the uh, under screen mount, which is right there, a huge, huge, huge storage space optimized, which is awesome. I love the way it looks too. And then this front window screen, all for my friends over at EV Base. And they also sent me this thing too, which I think is awesome, but I'm, I'm kind of a, a geek into these kinds of toys anyway. This is a Cybertruck. This is a, a scale model of the Cybertruck, at least as far as when the specs came out. Also the ATV, the quad, the Cyber Quad, I guess you could say. Um, but this thing is just awesome. And I it's even got a yoke steering wheel in there. I think it's super neat. Uh, fun toy for the kids to have. My daughter already loved it and was playing with it before it even got out of the box. So uh, just something to kind of keep in mind if you're looking at Christmas presents down the road. But either way, I appreciate you guys tuning in, watching the videos. Um, check out down in the description below. You get a special code, save 10 or 15%, which is huge on all this stuff. And they have thousands of items over on EV Base uh, for any type of car, that you, any type of Tesla you have. And uh, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, week, month so far. And um, staying safe out there.